So who does not want to get paid quicker? Today, I'm going to show you how to automate payment reminders for overdue invoices in QuickBooks. Now, it's a great tool and it's really useful if you find it a bit daunting to chase people who you have a relationship with. You know, we don't want to upset our customers. So to chase them for money sometimes can be a little bit daunting. So firstly, I'm going to show you how you can do it manually so you can chase them individually to chase individual companies or chase them for specific invoices and then I'm going to show you how you can automate all of that be completely hands-off and it happens behind the scenes you don't have to have anxiety before you press that send button so I'm going to show you four manual methods and then the automation so the first way to do it if you come into the all sales screen and if you come along here you'll automatically see that there's status colors based on how old the invoices are. You have outstanding to your customers. If you click on the overdue, it will just show you a list of the overdue invoices. Now, if you were to go to open invoices or any of the others, you can still see the status here. Also, when you send them to people and they've viewed it, you can see here whether they've opened it, whether they've viewed the invoice and so forth. So sometimes you don't want to chase somebody if they haven't even seen the invoice or you might do because you know that they're probably deliberately and it happens not opening the invoices so they can claim they never got it or never saw it. So anyway, we'll go back. So we click on overdue. So the first way to send an individual reminder is to choose a specific invoice. So this one here, 1005 for Freeman Sporting Goods. If we go over here to the action station, as I call it, click the drop down button and you'll see send reminder. Click that and up here you'll see it's going to the email. You can add an email there if you want to and it will show you the subject text. This is default, so you don't have to change anything if you don't want to, but if you wanted to change the message, you can do in here, and then all you do is you send that. So that's to send them individually from the all sales screen. The other way to do it is to click on, you could do all of them, click on a number of invoices. Now note, they're from different companies, and you can batch them. So if you go up to the batch, and put send reminders, it automatically sends all those four that I clicked on. Now be careful with this one because when you send them individually, you get the pop-up screen showing you the email being sent. But when you batch them from various companies, it automatically just sends them out. So be aware of that. It's a little bit of a, a trickier one to do if, if you don't, you know, I'm not sure if you might make a mistake or you send in error. So that's number two. The other way you can send is to choose it from the customer screen. Oh, no, you can also do it from here. Everything I just showed you, you can do from here. Just that with this one, it just lists invoices. It actually doesn't show you the status of the invoices where here you can see whether they're overdue and so on. So if I go to the customers, I can actually choose a customer. So say Amy is overdue. That's, I think, let me see how many invoices Amy has. So just the one. Let's find somebody that's got a bit more. So go back to customers. I think Freeman's had a few actually. So if we do Freeman Sporting Goods, we're going to choose that one. And then we're going to come over here and we're going to send a reminder. And here you see it says you are sending reminders for three invoices to the original recipient. So under um, Freeman Sporting Goods, they've actually got three outstanding invoices. Now, this may not be ideal if you chase them based on the age of an invoice, but you never know when you might need this one if you're doing quite a few. So again, the pop up comes up slightly different because it's telling you that you're sending multiple reminders for well, reminders for multiple invoices. And then again, you just send that and off it goes. So that's the third way you can manually send a reminder. The fourth way is from within the actual customer record. So if you open, say we open Freeman Sporting Goods, we're actually in the record you see here. And so we'll come over to this one and we're going to chase them for that because it's quite old. So we click the drop down box under the action station and then we find send reminder and your box pops up again and then you can send it. So those are the four ways you can do it. So to recap, if you go under all sales, click your overdue if that's what you're chasing. You might chase them when they're open. Some people chase it on the day it's due. 
you know, you can just you choose what your criteria is. But if we go with the overdue here, so and then you just choose it by an invoice. So come over on the drop down box, send reminder. You can send them in batches. So click a number of them, come up here, click the batch, send reminder. You can go over to the customer screen and then you can just click on a customer, come over to the drop down box, send reminder. Or you go into the customer, choose the invoice over here on the drop down box, send reminder. So who's got time for all of that? We're busy people. You can do this automatically. In fact, set it and forget it. So how do we do that? First things first, we need to go over to the little gear icon in the top right hand corner. Click that, choose account and settings. Come over to sales. And if we scroll down, you will see that there's an option now that says reminders is currently off. So you either can click that to edit it or click the little pen to edit it. So we just click on that. And then what we want to do is we want to turn on auto invoice reminders. So we click that and it turns it on. And you can create up to three automatic reminders and they will be for different times. So, for example, this one here says you're going to send a reminder one day before the due date for unpaid invoices. Then you can create another one. So then once that's done, we're going to send a reminder seven days after the date it's due. And then another one might be, I don't know, let's just say, um, oh, this only gives you on 40, 10 days, and so 10 days after. Now, this is quite a simplistic reminder system. So it's not like a fully fledged credit control where you can put parameters and so forth. This is just a way for you to automate the email that you just saw me do in four different ways. So once you do that, you'll see that the email message that came up in the other little pop ups is now here. So what if you change it here, you will change it dynamically across all the emails when you send them out. So you can make that change here. So you might rather than use dear, you might put two and you might change it rather than put their full name, just their first name or Mr. And it's the surname and so on. And then you can retype this with what you want it to say. If you change your mind or you don't want to put that anymore, you can just click re reset to default email template and it will erase your changes and go back to this one. And each time you send them out, you might want a copy to be sent to you because remember, this has been automated. So it saves you having to diarize when um, emails are going out. And if you have a lot of invoices that you send reminders for, this might be useful just as a checklist for you to see what's going on in the background. So it's wonderfully reactive as opposed to you having to proactively start the process. So you would just click that, just to say we do that and we click save. And that's all you have to do. And now that's all set up, ready to go. I hope that helps. If you need any further help from me with the finances in your business, check the links out below in the description. And don't forget to subscribe. Take care.